Good morning. Today is June the 13th. What a beautiful day it is today. We're going to read to you the Gospel for the day, Matthew 5, 33 to 37. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, Do not take a false oath, but make good to the Lord all that you vow. But I say to you, do not swear at all, not by heaven, for it is God's throne, not by earth, for it is his footstool, not by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make a single hair white or black. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, Jesus tells us something that we all should know ourselves. If we tell someone that we want to do something, that we're going to do something, then we do it. If we don't want to do something, then we need to say no. There's no gray area. That's what he's telling us. And today, St. Anthony kept to that gospel very much. He was uh, a Franciscan. His days today, like I said, and the thing that was known about him was that he was such a great preacher. Whatever he said, everyone listened, from the humans to all the creatures of the earth. One beautiful story that, that is told about St. Anthony was that he was walking, and he went to this town, and the king or the leader said, do not listen to what he has to say. Don't listen to anything he has to say. So then he went over there, and he just went to the river, and he just started preaching, and he says, all of you out there in the sea and in the waters, listen to what I have to say about Jesus the Lord. And so he started to preach and started to tell things about Jesus and about heaven and all that stuff. And as they say, the people saw, it was like a miracle, because they saw the fish coming out. Imagine these bricks right here, the fish coming out of the water, just listening to what he had to say. And they would line up in rows, like when, you have a, when you're a teacher and you have kids line up in rows, like so. That's the way that they were, just listening to what he had to say. When the people saw this, they started coming and they started listening. And they knew that they had been told something that was not right by their, by their city leaders, which was to listen to what Anthony had to say. And so there are many things that, he, that, that has to do with that. But one of the other ones that I, I learned about is the fact that there was a mule and his owner was going to prove to everybody that Anthony was false. He was false. So he goes over there and he starts his mule for about three days. Then he gets some food for the mule. And Anthony's over here on this side with the host of Jesus, of course. And he has the host here. And the man has the, the food for the mule over there. And the mule is right in the middle. So then they don't say anything. They have it here. They have it over there. And all of a sudden, the mule goes directly. He doesn't even look at the food that the man has. He goes directly to where St. Anthony is, and he kneels in front of the Blessed Sacrament. That should tell us how important it is for Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. That should give us the, the, an example that we, too, need to have that kind of reverence for Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. The other one that we know very well, everyone knows, is where St. Anthony has a book on his right hand probably the Bible and then he has Jesus on the other and if you see closely you look at closely at the statue or the image you see that baby Jesus because that's who it is the child Jesus is right there touching the face touching the face of Anthony sort of like when a mom touches the face of a child or a child touches the face of the, of, of the parent okay with love and all that kind of stuff those are the things that that show that he was very special. When he first came to the Franciscan order, he never said that he was a, a priest. He was so humble that just the way that he spoke and everything, that gave away, you might say, that he was a lover of God and all those things that he represents. So today, for all those who are being Anthony, uh, Antonio, Antonia, Antoinette, Today is your day. Celebrate it. Today is a beautiful day. And as we continue listening to what, what Jesus said today in the gospel, he says, if you tell someone no, then don't do it. If you tell someone yes, then do it. Don't, there's no maybe. Uh, maybe I can. Maybe I can't. I shouldn't. I should. 
okay? So we need to be able to do the same thing. And when someone says, I swear, da -da 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 -da, we shouldn't do that. Jesus told us specifically, do not swear. So we have to keep that in mind because everything that God tells us to do, Jesus tells us through, through the Spirit, he says, listen to the Spirit and do what he has to say. So St. Francis is another one who was a very special person that listened to nature and was able to tell the world just by the things that he did that the most important part in this world is listening to Jesus and doing what Jesus has to say. So today, you do the same thing. Keep in your mind and in your heart that Jesus is Lord and he has given us the rights, you might say, to say no or the rights to say yes and to mean it. Don't whisper it, just say it and stay with what you have said. Because there's always going to be reasons why you say what you answer. And so we put all our, our trust into Jesus' hands knowing that today, through the intercession of St. Anthony, that everything that we have, that we give to the greater glory of God, and keeping in mind that he is the one who has created all this beauty all around us, and he has given us Jesus, he's given us Francis, he's given us all the same to be like our guide. And when those guides go to Jesus, they're kind of saying, uh, can you listen to her, can you listen to him? Have something that they want to tell you. So today, for the sake of, of our wonderful world that God has created, we as Franciscans put all our trust in Jesus, and we ask you right now to join with us to pray in our Father, a Hail Mary, and a Glory be for the intentions of our Holy Father, and for each and every one of you to have a beautiful and wonderful day. So please, pray with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So dear people, today celebrate this wonderful day. Tomorrow is a magnificent feast day, a solemnity of the, of the body and blood of Jesus, Corpus Christi Sunday. So let's keep in mind, Jesus is so important in that post, and he comes to us directly. Have a great and beautiful day. Keep being close to Jesus and many blessings to each and every one of you. Until next time.